Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a first year medical student in New York City, and my goal is to help you get into medical school and exceed in medical school. chat a little bit about how I study in medical school and if you've been with me from the beginning then you know that when I first started medical school I shared a video about how I was studying and while that was working I feel that I have refined my study strategies I've gotten more efficient and I'm doing better so I just wanted to share a little updated video with you guys before we dive in I just want to say thank you to TrueLearn for sponsoring this video TrueLearn has question banks for a variety of exams Hopefully you guys may be thinking about USMLE and or Comlex and so make sure to watch until the end of this video so that way you can learn how you can save money on a subscription for a USMLE and or Comlex question bank also known as the smart banks through to learn so how do I study in medical school the TLDR which we're gonna get into all the details later but the TLDR is I preview the lecture I watch the lecture I do Anki and I follow up with practice questions. Yes, we are doing practice questions right as we learn the material. We're not waiting until we've reviewed, 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 and we feel like super confident we're doing practice questions early on. So let's dive in into how I use each of these resources. So the first thing that I do is preview the lecture. So there are a lot of different ways that you can do this. I have a couple of classmates that will download the lecture slides and just review and annotate the lecture slides. A lot of our lectures have um, notes in the PowerPoint at the bottom so you can kind of just see what the professor is going to talk about. So that way you just kind of have a better understanding of what you can expect so when you're in the lecture you can just like really hone in focus listen in and it's kind of almost like your second pass because you've already reviewed the lecture what i personally like to do is watch videos because i am someone who is more audio visual and so one of my favorite resources for watching videos would be osmosis um there's also boards and beyond and there's so many other different ones that you can use also pixarize which actually links with true learn their q banks so that's another awesome resource. But right now what I've been doing is just previewing with osmosis. And of course for every lecture, there's not like an associated video. So I just kind of have my notion template, which I will put here so you guys can see what that looks like um, and preview lecture just to have an idea of what to come next. After that, we watch the lecture, of course. So my school, does live lectures, but they record them. So I don't go to lecture in person because I'm more of like a 1.5 X to 2X kind of girl. So I have my handy dandy iPad here and I will download the PowerPoint um, as a PDF and then I'll watch the lecture. And what I like to do, this is kind of triggering because I literally just took my repro exam, but what I will do is highlight and then also I'll make notes. And so I'm a color coded girly. So usually like blue is just like, any extra text i just kind of want to annotate what the professor is saying and then um pink will be like super important and i use good notes for this and i really love it because i can kind of bookmark certain pages so we have lecture take home points or key point slides summary slides different things like that i'll bookmark those so they're super easy um to go back and look at listening to the lecture rather than just looking at it i can really see what the professor is emphasizing when they're teaching the lecture next i review my lectures so i have my ipad set up like this where i can see the powerpoint slides and good notes that i've annotated and then then I have my computer over here and I usually just have like a Google Doc that I'm working out of. So just like a quick, simple typed up study guide, but really the way that I review lecture and review the content is going to be through Anki. So you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, my day in the life videos, my stories, I am always doing Anki and I actually use the Anki deck. So I just kind of want to take you guys to a little bit of a deeper dive of how I use it. All right guys, as promised, just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes look and what my Anki looks like. So essentially how it will start off, just to give you guys some context before we dive in, I will wake up, I will do my step one review cards, my step one current cards. I'll preview the lecture, watch the lecture, and then I will unsuspend new cards from the Anki deck. So if I am looking at the Anki deck, I will drop a link below so you guys can download the Anki deck. This is for USMLE step one and step to and of course people are taking complex as well so let's just say that i am working and i'm doing some repro cards i like to um, find the cards that i want to study using the tags because i think that they're very specific and i'll usually do first aid because these are super 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 specific learning about progestins 
So I'll just come here and I am going to, they're purple now because I'm marking them. Um, so that way I know that I need to move these out of my deck once I'm done recording this video. But essentially what you want to do is just unsuspend the cards. And when I downloaded the Anki deck initially, I suspended everything because I didn't want to work through them. So basically what I'll do is unsuspend the cards here and that will then bring them into my queue to learn and I'll learn them using my Anki remote which I will also link below like it is literally a game changer helps me do Anki so fast so I'm done with all of these cards so let's just say you've unsuspended a lot like and you don't want to go back through every tag so how do you find the ones that you've done for the day so you want to find cards that are not suspended so minus is colon suspended and then I want to move them to my step one current deck. So that basically holds all the cards for the exam that I am currently studying for. So they're now in my step one current deck. So that way, when the next day comes, they will pop up here for me to study. Then let's say I'm done with an exam. So I've been working out of these cards in my step one current deck for about two weeks because we have exams every two weeks. So I will grab them from my step one current deck. And then I will move them into my step one review deck, which is what I'll be working out of until I take USMLE step one. So what is the purpose of having a step one current and a step one review deck? So I think it's super important. I really do try to keep up with Anki every day. However, it is kind of hard to keep up with Anki every day. I'm a busy girl. So what I like to do is I have the step one review deck and I try to do these, but if life happens, then I can always postpone these um, for a day. But I do make Make sure that I do my step one current cards because those are for the upcoming exams. So those are my highest priorities. And the last thing is going to be practice questions. Practice questions are so important. What I've realized I've had to come to terms with is that practice questions are not for when you feel ready. Practice questions are a great learning tool. So we'll start my day. I'll preview the lecture. I'll watch the lecture. I'll review and do my onking and then the very next day I'm going to be doing practice questions from what I learned the day before. So I'm doing practice questions every day, um, just kind of building on what we've learned so far. And then of course, like the day before the exam, I'm doing a lot more, but it could literally look like eight to 10 practice questions, 15, 20. You don't have to do 40 question blocks because that is a lot. So. I'm going to take you a little bit into the behind the scenes of how I use TrueLearn for practice questions when I am studying. Now I wanted to show you guys how I use TrueLearn for practice questions when I am studying. So I think that TrueLearn is great. As you can see, they have practice questions for so many different exams. Right now, what we're focused on is USMLE step one. Let me take you guys to my dashboard. And I've done a couple questions and I have 140 days in until I take step one, which is crazy to think about because I feel like I just started medical school. Um, but I like that it just kind of gives me an idea of where I'm at. I don't have a goal percentile, um, but it is pass fail. So I'll update that. But this just kind of shows you where you're at. And I've done 10 questions so far. So clearly not doing so great. But like if the national average is 51%, I'm pretty close. So what I really like is the dashboard. So since I haven't done as many questions, it's not as in-depth right now, but it does show me different topics that I've missed. So I can pull up questions that I have done and the interface is great because it doesn't just tell me if I got a question right or wrong, but it also will tell me what most people chose. So I could see for this one, like, okay, most people are getting a little bit confused with CA 125 or surgical resection. So like, that's okay because I'm not like super off compared to what other people um, were guessing. But also I really like that. It doesn't just tell me why the correct answer is correct, but it will tell me why all of the other answers are wrong. I think that's so important. Something that I did when I was studying for the MCAT and now that I'm taking with me in medical school is not just saying, okay, I got it right, cool. But no, if I was confused about a question or anything like that, really just understanding why all of the wrong answers are wrong. And then also I love the true line 
true learn insight. So once again, not just why the answer is right, why answers were wrong, but it kind of just gives you an overview of what you need to know for USMLE. And that can include graphics, tables, everything like that. Adenomyosis versus endometriosis is one that a lot of people um, can get confused. So it really just see, will help you understand the different ways that you want to diagnose and treat each of these. It also connects it to first aid for you guys, which I think is super helpful. And then also all the different competencies, disciplines, different things like that. Also, it integrates with Picmonic, which I wanted to show. So if you are a visual learner, let's say I missed a question on placenta. So I'm going to now just click and I can watch super easily the Picmonic video. So that's a great way that another way that I can integrate how I learn in an audio visual manner and also just performance insights, which of course, like I said, they will be more in depth the more you study. And I think it's super helpful, but really just to understand what topics I'm missing. Practice questions are so important and I know it can be really hard to start doing practice questions, but I literally got a 40% on this, but I promised I learned more from getting that 40% than I would have if I just had read over my study guide, which is going to be more passive learning. Also, if you're someone that struggles with test anxiety, like I do, I think it's super helpful to mimic the testing conditions as best as you can, which I really love that I can also do because you can do a true learn view. But then also, I think most importantly, what you should do USMLE view. So it lets me highlight and it lets me have my lab values. Like I will see them on the USMLE, everything like that. So it really just helps me get more prepared for my exam. And that is how I study using practice questions. So once again, this is how I study in medical school. I am able to preview the lecture, watch the lecture, and then review the lecture using Anki. And then the next day I follow up with practice questions. And one of the best resources for that is going to be TrueLearn. Like I said, if you stayed until the end of this video, then I was gonna have a little treat for you guys. And that treat is $25 off a 90 day or more subscription for USMLE Comlex or residency smart banks through TrueLearn. Make sure to use my code Melanin and Med when you sign up to get that $25 off. And of course, I'll have all the details in the description additionally on how you can get that discount. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions about how I study, just let me know. If you're a pre-med student or if you're in medical school, anywhere in your journey, let me know how you study in the comments below. Thanks guys so much for tuning in.